You could sum them up with one word, positive. Young couple Raymond Naratini and Fontana Tchaikovsky were forced from their downtown High River home by the June flood. And now, almost four months and several hotels later, they're among the first to move into a suite inside the newly built Great Plains Lodge temporary community in Calgary. Do you yeah, want to come take a look? I would sure. love a little. Yeah, yeah. we you have our own washer look. and dryer. Can I come on in? We'll make... show you our house. <laughs> <laughs> Ever the optimists, they were pretty happy to be able to cram their car full of all their belongings and finally move into a more comfortable home. We've been up here, down there, you know, everywhere. And it's just, it's nice to actually be here and be stable again and, and try and get back on our feet. Again. <laughs> yeah. When construction on this site is complete, up to 700 people still displaced by the flood will live here. And the province says they and others in similar temporary communities built for flood evacuees will begin paying rent on November 15th. Rates range from $627 for a single person to $1217 for two adults and two kids. It includes meals, utilities, housekeeping, laundry, internet, cable TV and rec services. Raymond and Fontana have no problem with their rate. I'm fine with it. It's, you know, we got to get back on our feet sometime and if we just live free rent forever, we're not going to get anywhere, right? The province said the rent covers about 10% of the overall operating cost. This young couple hopes living here will give them the boost they need to return to a more normal life. A lot of it is just not having a place to call our own, you know, and, and being able to say that we actually have a place now and not being stuck in a hotel or something like that, which doesn't really feel like home. Yeah. The opportunities are endless here to get on our feet. For Sun News, I'm Lyle Aspinall.